is my 1969 Super Cobra Jet Mustang Mach 1. This is a Q coach car, which means it does not have the shaker hood scoop. It's a 428 badge. The car actually has a 427 wedge engine in it with a 428 reciprocating assembly that is independently balanced. Leads, makes you a 447 stroker. Adds about 138 horsepower to a stock 427. As you'll notice under the hood here, the 428 Cobra Jet with a 447 stroker package. We have a drag pack car, which is noted by the factory oil cooler in its location, and the two horns on the passenger side of the car, which relocates a horn from here to here, puts a different type of horn under here. Uh, they had to do that to facilitate the area so that we have a room to put the oil cooler. You'll also note that the car has a 430 Detroit locker in the rear end. It also has a four-speed transmission manual, uh, Lakewood blowproof bell housing with a 3,800 pound clutch and pressure plate from Ram Enterprises, uh, Hearst Competition Plus shifter. Uh, okay, now we we'll explain the Maryland tags on the back of it. This is a vintage 1969 license plate. The reason it states Maryland is this car was originally delivered through Lanham Ford in Lanham, Maryland. I'm the third owner of it. We look inside the trunk and you'll see. We look inside the trunk, you'll see this car was meticulously restored down to the air bottle that pumps up the factory Space Saver Spare, which still functions. We tested it. Everything is in its factory location inside the trunk. If you're looking underneath the rear end of the car, you can see this car was restored on a rotisserie. Uh, you also denote back to the drag pack option of the car having staggered rear shocks, which was something that was installed at the factory on a siding. They actually had to change uh, a cross member underneath the rear of the car, so it was done on a special siding at the factory. But this also adds to the credibility that this car is a genuine drag pack car. Now you'll notice that these are the factory Magnum 500 wheels on this car. Uh, the original car would have had a 14-inch wheel on it. We went the opposite for the 15 inch wheel and tire because of a much better drivability. You also notice that underneath the rear of the car are Mr. Gasket traction bars. This car was done in hot rod fashion to show how it would have looked in 1969 if you had bought it and were modifying it to drag race. The interior of the car has been meticulously restored also. You'll notice that the seats are all brand new vinyl. Uh, the seat belts were restored by Python Restoration in Texas. They are correct down to date, coat, part, number, chrome, etc. You'll notice that the floors are all brand new carpet and everything has been, again, meticulously done to be exactly how it should have been in 1969. You'll notice this car had the option of the fold down rear seat. The rear seat functions as brand new as it did in 69. Allows you to have two extra passengers in the back. This car has, it was equipped with the original factory tack dash, also has the clock. The car has 19,836 original miles on it. The car was drag raced in its early career and then mothballed for years. Obviously now has none of the apparatus for drag racing that it had back then. The car sports the factory rim blow steering wheel and uh, AM FM stereo radio.